There's this charming little game called Choo Choo Charles. This was a game that blew up on TikTok. It was made by a YouTuber named Gavin. The whole concept of the entire game is basically you're trapped on an island with a demon spider train named Charles. It originally came out on Steam on December 9th, 2022. And from there, it was a major success. But Jonas, why are you talking about Choo Choo Charles right now? I was looking around the, the PlayStation store looking for other games I could sink my teeth into. And there I saw it. Choo Choo Charles had came out on console, or at least on PlayStation. I saw it right in front of me right there on the PlayStation store and I just had to have it and I took the opportunity I have to even go as far as to platinum this game as well. I'm putting Choo Choo Charles back on the spotlight once again because I platinumed the entirety of Choo Choo Charles and I'll show you how that journey became so let's go. The game starts off with getting a phone call from a man named Eugene. You are a monster hunter that's tasked to find and to fight Choo Choo Charles and eliminate him from an island for good. You catch a tour guide with Eugene to get a, to get a look at the train that you're going to be riding in throughout the entire island looking for Charles. We go into the cabin, but it was locked and we needed a key which gave us our very first ever mission for the game. I think the key is probably in the shack. So the key is here. And let's get this train. Good on you. Looks like you found it. Open up that door and lead the oh, way. Oh, baby's first mission. First trophy in the books. Complete baby's first mission. Ah, easy. So this is our little beauty we got going on here. And it's got a rail gun. This thing's got a rail gun. Eugene recalls that the that the Gatling gun was never there whenever he got evacuated from the island, but he said it would be a great time to use it as a test run on Charles. We take the train out for a spin, and Charles arrives for our first encounter. Do you hear that? It's What's him! It? It's him! Oh, it's him. Oh, God. There he is. Charles is here. <gasps> Eugene! No, Eugene! No, you... Stop the train! Stop the train! Stop the train! Stop the train! Eugene, my boy! <laughs> this isn't how things were supposed to end. Dude, no! And with his dying last words, he tells us what we need to do in order to beat Charles. We had to find three eggs that scattered in the different areas of this island as well as looking for Eugene's son to have a plan to beat Charles once and for all. Charles, you have started a war. And this war will be won by me. I think for start, let's get us into a optional mission. A lot of these quests are pretty much rinse and repeat different quests. Talking to the NPC, fetching something they need, come back, and complete the quest. The first one requires it just fetching some scrap from Candace's barn. She gave us the key, went inside her house, got all the scrap, bam, trophy. I even varied off into the swamp with the swamp lady who needed an extra recipe for her stew that she was cooking up. And the other ingredient we need is is fish meat that was in the middle of this island in a swamp. You'll need to be wary of Barry, the swamp monster. Don't move if he gets close to you. As long as you stand still, he's as kind as a kitten. So I guess this is like a red light, green light situation. Alright. Oh, baby, I don't want to know. Oh! That actually legit scared me. I don't know why I was so scared. That was something. All right, so here's the fish. I got your ingredients what for your stew. Delicacy you found. And swamp swimmer. Complete swamp swimmer. There are even different weapon 
variations that we can use to fight against Charles. The first one we got was a quick little mission to get us a flamethrower. Hey, dude, uh, your shed's kind of on fire. A flamethrower is an addition to my spider train home defense plan, but as you can see, that is slightly uh, backfired. <laughs> all right, so all we have to do is put out the flame. Will this do anything? It's really that simple, huh? So all, all this guy had to do was to walk all the way up here, turn this nozzle of this water silo, and water will just come spilling out on the fire on top. That's literally all he had to do. I mean, that's, that's just funny, but holy crap, dude. Using the water tank to put out the fire. There we go. Genius. Buck spray blaze. From there, I went ahead to get and collect our first egg. So this is the mine. Uh, I hear whistling. Whoever's in here is guarding the egg. So it seems like there's just one guy. And there's the egg. That was actually easier than I thought. Ooh, South Mine Spelunking. The next one was a very interesting mission by a very interesting individual. And uh, I'm gonna let this one speak for itself. Oh, we can tell by this, the look on this woman and how this woman looks. You know she's got something interesting to say. You know this one's got to be good. I need my pickles! Pickles. As some people may or may not know, I hate pickles. I don't... Uh... I ate the last jar of pickles I had in my house, and there's only one jar of pickles left on the island! My secret jar of pickles! Locked away in you have a pickle cave. I'll give you all the scrap in my hub as a reward. All right. Crazy lady. So here's her pickle cave. Pickles, pickles. Pick, 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 pickles. Easy, easy. All right, all right, lady. Here's your pickles. The pickle mission. The next one to have this dude on the beach that's trying to get out of the island, but he left his journal at his house. So he went to his house, fetched the journal, we gave it back to him, another trophy. Now I can arguably say what could be even scarier than Charles himself was this next side mission that was also an Easter egg. You approach this woman as saying that there's somebody that's leaving these pages across the boulder field that's next to her house. She wants us to go inside to this boulder canyon and to look for eight pages of these books. Does that sound familiar to you guys? So it's literally in here, right? Like a piece of paper like this. What the heck? What is that sound? What the heck? Oh God, what is that sound? What is that sound? Oh, wait. Is this, is this a slender Easter egg? Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh God. What is this? Why? Oh, that's a ghost. Oh, I, th I think this is more scarier than Charles. Oh, I'm not turning around. I'm not turning around. I don't want to turn around. I don't want to turn around. Oh. Up. Where's this last paper? Where's this last paper? I'm literally not turning around. This is creepy. Found it. Found it. Found it. Oh. Why was that so creepy? Bruh. Are you serious? Now I got Charles to worry about. I'm gonna die. Oh. 
Thanks for the... Thanks for the boost. <laughs> well, I got your papers. Boulder Field Pages. Thanks for the creepy Slenderman Easter egg. Doing that last Slenderman mission gave us enough scrap to have us upgrade our speed all the way for another trophy. From there, we went ahead to get another weapon to use against Charles, which was a missile launcher. We had to go find this bunker, use some explosives to break it in, find the explosives and head back, get our weapon and bam, trophy. The next mission, I went to the lighthouse. This lady was trying to light a lighthouse, but was attacked by Charles. So we had to go to the field, find some of these charges and turn the lights back on at the lighthouse. And after that mission, we got enough scraps to where I can get damage maxed out all the way for a trophy. Then we had another simple mission where we found this man named Tony Tittle. Ha. <laughs> Tittle. But all we had to do was loot his barn for scrap and just give us the trophy. Then we had to go and get this guy's loose suitcase in this canyon that was guarded by some of these mass dudes from before. No trespassing. Uh oh. Bruh, I. Bruh. Bruh. I just got here. Oh. And actually, you know what? Come over here. Come over here, big man. Come over here, big man. You still following? Yes, you are. Awesome. Oh, you. Got a nice shot. You play Call of Duty too, I would bet. No Come here. <laughs> you brought a pea shooter to a gunfight. We took out the mass dudes, got his box back. Bam, another trophy. And after that mission, we had just enough scrap to max out our train all the way by maxing out our armor. And after that mission, I went ahead to get the final weapon we needed in our arsenal against Charles. So we fought off the dudes at this mob camp to get the weapon and we named him Bob after his honor and got the trophy. For our final side mission, we had to climb up these towers to to find some documents for this guy that wanted to sue his boss, who happens to be the main antagonist of this game other than Charles. We made a pretty difficult climb, but we got the documents, gave it to him for the trophy. The next thing I went ahead to do was to get our second egg in this north mine. This one was a bit more difficult with the traversal, but I managed to sneak my way out and get the second egg and get the trophy. All right, so we're going in. <gasps> Shoot. Shoot. Ah, he's chasing me. Oh, I gotta deal with these guys. Hold on. I missed my shots. There we go. Just let her do. I gotta go in, take the egg, and then escape out of there. So we got to get out of here this way. Okay, I hear Charles. Oh God, he knows it. He knows I'm out. Oh yeah. And Charles is around. We're in trouble. And we got it. North Mine Mystery. Stop right there. And then we went in to get our last egg with this huge tomb area. This one was definitely the worst one because the stealth is not so great in this game. I got spotted many times, but I dealt with those mass dudes the best way I could. We're here to get our next and final egg. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh, he's here. Excuse me, I'm gonna drag you over here to my uh, ride. <laughs> Come here! Come here! Come face me! I'm gonna shoot you! <laughs> there we go. No trespassing! Aw, oh, shoot. Well, okay. He's after me now. No. Oh. Ah. Alright, here's the last egg. Nice. So that leaves one more paint can, and also, all the eggs are collected. Mine or tomb? Complete a mine or a tomb. But before we could confront Charles, there are two things I had to do. First was talk to Eugene's son, where he had us to go plant some bombs on the bridge. All right, Paul, we did it. 
We placed bombs on the bridge. That's the tallest and weakest bridge on the island. So if Charles ever crosses it, we can blow him sky high. I'll be on standby to detonate the charges, but it's still up to you to summon and fight him. Here, take this. It's the key to the temple. Once you think you're prepared enough, you can break in and fight the battle of a lifetime. Deconstruction project. All right, so this is it. This is gonna be our final battle against Charles. The last paint can we have to get is right here. All right, Charles doesn't know I'm here. But from what I saw, the last paint can is in here somewhere. Oh, right here, right here in the pew. If we get this, this should pop the trophy. There we go, dripped out. Collect all 11 paint cans. We head to what was probably the middle of the map in this huge temple area. And from there, our final fight with Charles has begun. All right, we're here. The main event. This is where it all goes down. Hey, get out of here! Whew. And I got that just in time. Step away from the shrine, stranger. You don't know what you're doing. Why is this Just man dressed up like Walter White? And lay flat on the ground. Or the guy from uh, Curious George. Nope, ain't happening, son. Oh, there he is. All right. Ah, they definitely weren't kidding. They definitely weren't kidding when they said that he'll power up. Well, the war instead. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Charles. Last battle. Last battle. All right. We're using everything. We're using everything against you. Take that, Charles. How do you feel? Get, get, take this on, Charles. This is for Eugene. This is for everybody in the island. You don't want this smoke. All the people you killed in the island. This is for all of them. Oh God, he's... We're almost there. One last shot. We did it. We did it. Bye bye, Charles. Bye bye. Oh. Okay, now that was a brutal end. That's the brutal end Charles deserves. The end. Live happily ever after. Which means... Hardcore conductor. Gather every trophy in Choo Choo Charles. We did it. We did it. Another game to platinum. Nice, short and sweet little one, but... It was fun all the less. Oh. Did we miss an egg? Aw, oh, and, it, and it's about to hatch. What's that? Oh. Charles has been busy. So if there's ever going to be a sequel, we're going to have problems. And there you have it. That's the platinum trophy for Choo Choo Charles. This game is definitely very short and is definitely a very easy platinum to collect, but I highly recommend this game. I cannot wait to see what Gavin has in store next. And I'm so happy that I also got another platinum trophy in the books. Well, that's it, you guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe for more platinum trophy videos to come. And if you like this one, make sure you blow up that like button to me in like pieces. If you want to see more platinum trophy videos, check out this one right here to where I got my first platinum trophy for conveniently another spider game, Spider-Man 2. So if you want to check that video out, check it out right here and I'll see you guys 
in the next video.